Hello, my name is Sinead Jones, and this is K and KY, which stands for Know the New Kinky You. I'm your resident certified sex coach, and we are here to talk about the anatomy, right? Sexual anatomy, to be specific. So, first part of this conversation is going to start with the vulva. So, and I don't mean to be truly explicit, but, you know, most people are, are familiar with the term pussy and pussy is not a bad word don't get me wrong it's not a bad word it's just not a quite professional word so we're going to talk about the vulva and understand that i'm talking about pussy so for a lot of people the vulva is a mystery right so unlike men women our internal organs are internal so whereas men get to walk around and we can kind of see a package we can see a bulge we can see an impression we can see things of that give us an indication about size and girth it doesn't work that way for for women and a lot of women including myself until maybe a few years ago never took the time to actually pay attention to how our inner workings work how they look and how it is that they impact us so there is a, a woman her name is Dr. Betty Dotson she's out of New York an older a Caucasian woman where she teaches classes on masturbation and so one of the first things that she has you do in these classes is take a mirror with the lights and look at your vagina your your vulva because your vagina is only one piece of your your vulva so that's why I keep trying to talk about vulva <laughs> so you take a mirror and and you look at it and you need to understand that not it's almost like a fingerprint no two women's vulvas are going to be the same they're not going to look the same they're not going to be the same size they're not going to smell the same they're not going to taste the same so the general makeup is the same because we have the same component parts but how it is that they reflect is going to be different for everyone so here are our oh and i have a, a visual so excuse me my homework here is a vulva okay i gotta get it so you can see it here is a typical vulva right so we have our mons pubis which is up here so that's that little pocket of fatty tissue mostly fatty tissue for most women where you see pubic hair you see things like that then you have your labia major and I'm not going to do really good at this from the camera, but here's your labia major. Those are your outer lips, right? This is what serves to protect the vulva. The labia minor are your inner lips that protect the vaginal opening. Then you have your urethral opening, right? That's here. And this is where women urinate from. We do not and this is I don't know how the age range of people that would watch this video but women do not urinate out of their vaginas they urinate out of a little hole called your urethral opening then we have our vagina right that's the the bigger hole that all of you aspire to to get to the vagina is where we menstruate blood it's where we receive the the penis and it's also our birth canal so babies come out of your vagina inside of your vagina there is something called a g-spot g-spot stimulation can produce an orgasm so if that is something that you're interested in I have other videos specifically on g-spot stimulation but it is something that takes practice to, to kind of achieve but g-spot stimulation then we have our clitoris now there clitoris the clitoris is something that 
from the surface you only see it's like an iceberg honestly it's like an iceberg you only see the tip and underneath it is a whole nother structure that has 8,000 nerve endings and I don't I did the IG live tonight it's specific and only purpose is sexual satisfaction that's it that's the whole purpose women are have a piece of our bodies that are designed only to give sexual pleasure it's very sensitive uh, clitoral stimulation can create orgasm and you have to be mindful and careful of how it works for you because direct stimulation might not be the the best it may be indirect stimulation but clitoral stimulation is how the majority of women orgasm they can do it with you know vaginal penetration anal penetration you can do it but a lot of women the majority of women and I can't even tell you how many women have never even experienced an orgasm but the best way to do it is to get to know yourself get to know yourself get to know your body so take a, a, a chapter out of Dr. Betty Dawson's book and get a mirror uh, if you're not a fan of masturbation or if it's not something you're comfortable with uh, you can always reach out to me and we can have a conversation about how to get you to be comfortable and in a space where clitoral stimulation may masturbation is something that you can use to get to know who you are how your body works and how you respond to certain stimuli now although we're here to talk about the vulva and the the clitoris the vagina all of our body parts there's something else that i want to talk to you guys about tonight there is a phenomenon in the world called female genital mutilation and I'm not sure if you've heard about it. If you have, I'm so glad that you're aware. But if you haven't, there are certain cultures in the world who will purposefully damage female genitalia and organs through female circumcision. There are zero, zero health benefits to female circumcision. And it is reported that over 200 million girls and women alive have been impacted by FGM, which is female genital mutilation. There are 30 countries in Africa, in Asia, and in the Middle East that practice this custom. Internationally, it's considered a human rights violation. When we're talking about it, there are four major types. Clitoridectomy. You're just basically removing the clitoris. Excision and fibrillation. And any other type of non-medical harmful procedure where there is direct damage to the female genitalia. Now, I, there are some cultures and they have their reasons for why it is that they do what they do. It's not anything new. But there are the social conventions where you are trying to fight against feminine ideals and the primary reason that this is done is to reduce female sexual satisfaction because in a lot of ways in these countries men feel that women are their property that women serve their purposes versus women having a, a, a equal stake in the relationship you know that they should also be getting something out of it and for that reason 
FGM is done. I don't agree with it. I stand out against it. And when it does happen, it can result in bleeding, infection, urinary problems, pain, scarring, and even infertility. There are efforts to end FGM, international efforts, where, you know, a lot of countries are starting to stand up and fight back and make sure that this is not something that's carried on as a continued practice. It's not something that we want to have part of women's everyday lives. It's, we can't have it. We can't support stuff like this. So, with that being said, the vulva, the vagina, the pussy, the clitoris, all of the, the parts that make up womanhood, they need to be protected. They need to be ideal. They need to be cultured in a way where we are not just taken advantage of. We need to know our bodies. We need to know what makes us feel good. We need to know how it is that we respond to sexual stimuli. We need to know. We need to be aware. We need to be empowered to have these conversations. We need to be empowered to to enjoy sex. We need to. It's it's a mandatory thing. At least as far as I'm concerned. So hopefully you learned something new. If there are any questions that you have or anything that you want to discuss further on this, please feel free to send me a DM. Um, I will probably post these videos. They're intended to go to IGTV, but I will also probably like to post them to YouTube. And if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do. Everything I do across all social media is at D-O-Y-O-U-K-N-K-Y. Visit the website go to uh, YouTube, stay tuned into Instagram. I appreciate everyone who supports me and wants to continue the conversation that we're having about sexual empowerment. Thank you, and I will see you again very soon.